What is going on? Madison, why, why did you die from Uh, I just bring calamity and despair wherever I go. I'm sorry. It's my own fault, though. I should have had I a shield. That, I wish that was my superpower. What, bring calamity and despair wherever? Yeah. That's a power to have. My God, really? <laughs> Speaking of calamity and despair, I'm in this call now. Sorry to interrupt. Who is that? This is Andy AML. Hey! How's it going? Right. Hello, Slow Beef and Ike and Ty Tuesday and Hi Wang and everyone else who is in this call. Everybody's here now. How many people are in the call total? Uh, One million. I think there's five. Yeah. Like a few people, I added them and they didn't join. So it's like. Well, the thing about Skype is that they don't tell you that you're added to the call. I was like, wait a minute, she know. added me? What? Yeah. Yeah. Told you guys out. And I can't remove people either, so if you guys are. Bad, yeah, they had to leave of their own uh, volition. Oh, oh! Can we, can we, can we add Killer MC? He has to add me. That's the one he thing. Will, he, will, he will join. MC, get on that. Do it. <laughs> Only if KMC is interrupt drunk. your game of Monopoly. I know it's important to you. Oh God, I'm here and talking about Monopoly. I hate that game. Man, Monopoly sucks. Just you guys talking shit about board games. I have an obsessive tabletop sim. It's really distressing. That's different compared to Monopoly. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm playing Monopoly's board games on tabletop game. sim because I'm a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Why are you doing well, that? Well, you guys, you guys were, weren't you guys just playing uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill? Or yeah, we're playing called? Catan and Betrayal because if you get those in real life, they're like a hundred oh, bucks plus. Oh, you guys Catan? I love Catan. I can uh, never I find want to play Catan to play it with in, in, uh, in college. Yeah, like, a friend turned me on to him like, man, Catan's pretty cool, I want to buy it. Oh my god, this is like a hundred bucks plus. I know! <laughs> and then you got... And then Future Friend gets me Tabletop 7 and introduces me to fucking Betrayal of uh, House on Hill. And I'm like, wow, this is really gay. I want to buy a copy of $170. Yeah. Game, a game with 500 pieces. Yep. My friends had high. a copy of Settlers of Catan in college and we played it once. And one of the guys the oh God, for sheep joke about a million times. Yeah, I'm found out. That, that one that, that gets old. Uh, before anyone even makes it. <laughs> That's why I've only played it once. <laughs> I'm I'm perturbed. I'm sorry, but um, <laughs> happy Father's Day, everybody. Yeah, whatever it happens. Okay. Yay! Oh, you, what did what did you, what did your child get you for Father's Day, Slobby? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this child existed. That was the gift. She made my wife sleepy so I could uh, I could <laughs> play hide her. Uh. The best gift of all. Uh, the gift of silence. Am I right, guys? Yeah, you old ball and chain. What a compassionate father. <laughs> uh, you know what we did? Uh, my wife did is she did the Gmail thing and got my daughter an email address. You ever see that commercial? Well, no. Appearing ahead oh, that's of time. Cute. It's a commercial for Gmail where you get your like unborn kid an email address and send him or her like messages from the you know like. Oh, I'm just gonna see this in like eight years and wonder what in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what was mom doing? Right. I'm just I'm gonna send her tons of videos of me. Like, look, here's <laughs> dad playing. I shoot him up. You better be good at this. Um. <laughs> Yeah, can you put down the controller? Of... It's time for dinner. <laughs> All right, Jacob, it's your eighth birthday, so I'm gonna give you this email that I wrote to you when you were just born, <laughs> and it's actually a Russian porn pill advertisement. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Happy the thing, birthday. isn't it? It's gonna be jacked by the time that she's all grown. Oh yeah, you're right. It's like I don't know, I don't know if we're gonna be having kids anytime soon, but I can imagine just okay, son. Uh, I have your birthday present. But first, you need to beat me at Smash Brothers, <laughs> yeah. or some or some other. Th Actually, no, that would be a bad. That would be a bad choice because I'm terrible. You cannot earn my respect until you beat Serious Sam on Serious Mode. <laughs> All right, this game is called Star Tropics. Now I need you to beat. Me. <laughs> and if I beat you, you have to buy me a prison. Also, you have to do it when you're three years old and still illiterate. <laughs> Just like I did. Dip the cloth in water. Oh, you don't have it? Too bad! <laughs> Too bad, boy! Son, your coming of age tale is to beat La Mulana without a guide. Good luck. Oh. I'll see you in a couple of years. This is what replaces virginity, is the new thing you have to <laughs> accomplish. La Mulana. 
I'm still terrible. waiting for that slow beef. What? So have you solved Hell Temple yet? <laughs> it went mal mal I can't pronounce things. I'm doing it. I'm doing it all in secret. Malu la la. Wamuana. I really. I can't pronounce anything. Okay. It's a really hard game, especially it's for the not voice actors. That hard. They're making they actually give you one, all of the clues yeah. in the game. You just have to interpret it, and that's the hard part. I, I saw it at a I saw a demo at PAX, but I I did not have the chance to play it because uh, it's PAX basically the uh, TGX <laughs> or the TGS demo, so you're not missing much. Okay, but it, it does like, look it, it looks like it's gonna be pretty fun. Yeah, I it's can't imagine why why it wouldn't be fun. Yeah, they're focusing more on uh what's the term I'm looking for theology rather than anthropology, so I'm kind of really excited on where they're gonna go with it. And what? how are they going to make really dumb puzzles based on that? <laughs> oh, Come we'll on. find a way. I mean, odds are you're going to have to hang upside down to learn the alphabet. <laughs> yeah, probably. Hang have on. you memorized every section of the Torah? Because you're going to need to. That's not uh, completely inaccurate. Yeah, I, you... Um, I believe one there's one section of La Mulana where you could like skip a good bit of it by knowing a bit of Egyptian like theology. Which which part is that? What's the uh, eye of a uh, widget? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I, I remember that one now. Yeah. So yeah, that you... one was kind of clever. Um, hmm. chill. That is pretty. Cool. Um, so slow beef. As I'm adding people, yeah, your internet might tank because of the whole shared screen thing. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> That could be a problem. Too many screens. Uh, I can't. Okay. I can't read chat right now. Is this? Is the stream itself? Okay? No, I think it's fine. It's just. Oh, the chat's saying. Might, might want to know. Last ten minutes. Yeah, they're That's... just saying. If you get a child, you have to do this slow beef. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the stream open. It looks fine here. Oh no! I'm telling you I how to be a father. You want me to ban I them just all? want to make sure you knew that possibility <laughs> could happen. <laughs> Wow. At this point, it's just noise because I'm pretty sure everybody's telling Slow Beef how to be a father, and it's probably not gonna work. What? That, I, that I'm not gonna take advice from random people <laughs> on a Twitch <laughs> chat? <laughs> no, I don't I think don't I am like... gonna do that. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, who's oh, this? Uh, little... Barely. You're a bit quiet. At this point, it's just noise because I'm pretty sure everybody's telling Slow Oh no, I, I hear oh, an no, echo. It's not gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna take from random people on <laughs> oh. What the fuck is this? I have no idea, but man, this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, I just need that up. The audio open in the background. Oh, um, uh, the beauty of Mumble, you can just mute people if you want. There we go. Is it me? I thought we were using Skype. No, that's why I'm being uh, I'm being confusing. a cynic and saying we should be using oh, okay. for giant groups. <laughs> oh, who's um? Okay, Listen, okay, what's going on? Yeah, that's the problem. What's We're not going to get to see all this incredible Hydra action. This incredible five frames per second gameplay. <laughs> yeah. It's Sorry. actually eight. Okay, fine. It's record. It's recording at sixty, so I can show you thirty later. <laughs> <laughs> the human eye can only perceive about twenty frames per second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I hate the gaming industry for saying that. It's so terrible. I thought that was a joke, to be completely honest. No, there are people that are saying that they want to use twenty-four frames per second because, like, they got dumb excuses like cinematic experience. Yeah, or I a human heard body that. can only process X amount of frames. And they're just like, you just can't optimize your game and you're being dumb about it. Speaking of 20 FPS, video about that. did you guys see um, the new Dark Souls? Or not Dark Souls, I'm sorry. Bloodborne. Beast. Yeah, Bloodborne. Yeah, yeah I saw the video? trailer for that. And That's the 20 freaking... FPS. <laughs> no, it dips to like <laughs> oh, I know 10. Not, but it looked like it. It, looks it dips really nice, to 10. So like, it looks it good, but there's like no fucking stable frame rate in its game. Hmm. I skipped most of the E3 stuff this year. Well, am I... Oh, this was just leaked. Am I not? E3 was weird, like... It was the exact opposite of last year's E3, and Nintendo had games, so they instantly win. They did a Sorry, pretty good uh, job. Works. They brought games to E3. It's, what did everybody else that? bring? Trailers. <laughs> Video games. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, I, I was... really like the uh, super serious sports trailers where, like, some guy with a gruff okay, voice Okay, okay, actually, Maddie, Maddie actually brings up a good point. Um, 
EA gets a slight pass because they introduced Battlefield Golf, and I almost fell out of my chair when I saw that. <laughs> that was <laughs> amazing. It what was like, oh. Um, that actually happened? I don't remember seeing that. Well, then again, I only there's watched the fantasy the mode, and then there's just this battleship along the yeah. golf course. Yeah, he hits a ball, and then like he sees it flying, and there's like a a battleship careening into the beach or whatever. Yeah, and that gets, was incredible. EA gets ever so slightly a free pass. <laughs> Other than I don't that, know. All my, they had was prototypes and shit. By far, my favorite thing that happened during E3 was the Mega Man Final Smash. Really? Because didn't they show that before? What happened? That was so no, no, no. The announcer was the part. It just, just the guy screaming at the top of his lung, Super Funny Robot. They had a big <laughs> attraction. He was that. just so <laughs> excited for that, and I hadn't seen Final <laughs> Smash either, so. I'll admit I was kind of excited, but then I saw how excited he was, and I was like, "Whoa, dude!" <laughs> oh man, did you guys hear about the? Uh, did you guys like watch the Smash tournament go down? Oh yeah, yeah I, I did. That was also pretty entertaining. Yeah, that apparently that the dude that was in the finals was such a scumbag that he corner camped the entire round. It was ridiculous. Um, I mean. I can understand doing that if he really wants to win because yeah, but you should do that in a four-player match. I, I'm not saying he didn't have a prize, but it's not like he did something wrong either. Basically, he didn't really do anything the... wrong. You can put yeah, that he on your resume. Wrong, but except he wore that scarf. That was <laughs> the scarf. Yeah, that was, was so tight He too. wore the scarf and he had gamer glasses, so I was just I... sitting there. He did. I didn't know. Wait, what is a gamer glass? Like... Wait. What? Uh, yellow, so yellow gamer glasses, glasses, glasses are yellow sunglasses that quote oh, unquote make you more reactive in video games. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! That does not. That is not a thing. <laughs> that is a thing. Is that like, like glasses for playing Smash Bros? That's a really big thing, actually. Yeah, they actually sell them at yeah, the naval like base near my city. They, they have a whole fucking company based off of that. They have. Yeah. They, no. They have research teams determining no, they do. how gamers have better reflexes by putting yellow in front of your eyes. Especially League of Legend players, it's like. Yeah. Christ. But that's that's a scam, right? It's a scam. Uh, I've been well, the thing my is, it's just to reduce like the glare. I mean, I have it's. I'm doing it. The science behind it. I'm doing it to look because I'm dressed like the guy from Trigun, but that's the only reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't look quite like that. That'd be cool though. That would be cool. Nah, if anything, he would be Wolfwood. If anything. <laughs> Why would I be Wolfwood? Wolfwood wears sunglasses. He didn't wear yellow glasses. Fast wore yellow glasses. Gosh. So, did, so right. did anyone go see the see the um smash like at Best Buy? Oh, I. Oh. I, I, I had a friend that get, went to that and he won a flag. A flag? Okay. Wow. Flag. Yeah, he won a okay, Mario Kart flag. 8 flag at a Smash tournament. Oh, that's chill. I was hoping yeah. it was like an American flag. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Was... Dude, I think it was a checkered flag. Wait, yeah, why, why was. I saw it there at the Best Buy that I went to. Uh, serious time for slow beef, I think. Ha no, oh, ha I no, I, I need to know. That. How did. Ha well. Hannah, how did. How would you get an American flag for playing Smash Brothers? Or. <laughs> It was a joking dumb last time. <laughs> it wasn't even, a, but it wasn't a good joke. It didn't even make fucking sense. Are you stupid? Are you? Are you? <laughs> the idea is that they just gave a random flag that they had rather than oh, something no, that's actually <laughs> Oh, we have nothing to give you. Uh, are you here, take this flag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good one. You're right. You're yeah. just giving random crap. No, it's very appropriate. I get it now. Yeah. Bash the stamp beef. Oh <laughs> God, chef's <laughs> great. Ah. Uh. Uh. Sorry, I brought that up. <laughs> uh, who cares? It's the internet. They only store everything you've ever said on here. Why do they do that? Um, because you people against your internet would, famous. Would <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You're e Tumblr drama. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually an insider. I just collect all the <laughs> She's just been playing this angle all along to keep an eye on the LP community. It's yeah, I got people which... like to trust me, and then I was uh -oh. like. You're the paparazzi of the LP community. Basically, I sell uh, information to the LP TMZ. I was, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm forwarding this to Atheist Against Retro Prey. I thought you said I'm- <laughs> I thought you said I'm farting this to get to Atheist Against Retro Wow, uh, you that good too. humor right there. Thanks. Fart jokes. Yeah. Mike is actually working for Polaris. <laughs> Aww. We've officially hit the classy point on the stream. Yeah, the there first... are some good people on Polaris. Like one of my I friends, like 
one of my friends uh, Dark Souls buddies is on Polaris, so it's like okay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not all bad. I don't know. If the I don't know that there's any, like, one MCN that's, like, awful or whatever, you know what I mean? Although... Yeah, I mean, it's terrible. I'm sorry? It's just that they have the one personality that no one likes, so yeah. people, that's why they get the flack. And it'd be fit No one likes except for those other 12 million. Right. Yeah, they gotta, <laughs> or, they gotta it's get It's funny money. how, like, you have to say it, it's like, like, man, nobody likes that guy, and yet... Yeah. There except for every other person on YouTube. Except for Dark Side Phil, but yeah, that's a special <laughs> case. Machinima. Leave him alone. Oh, it's special, all right. You leave him alone. <laughs> he tries his best. <laughs> Doc said, "Phil alone." Mich you know, though, Machinima, I think, does like deserve like some kind of ire because they tried to make shows and stuff that really don't work. You know? Yeah, and they're mm. so big. What do they do? Ugh. Do you remember Player vs. Pain? No. Kind of. Oh, oh, yeah. That was like some sort of really hackneyed reality show about inflicting harm on people while they play games. Fear yeah, it was like what? you got. That sounds great. You got it's bikini. Definitely one of the best. Things. You got bikini girls, and like if they did bad at video games, they would spank the one would spank the other with like oh, a paddle. Off. Are you serious? Yeah. That's a little. Scary. I thought we were. I thought we were that's like. That's really gross. I thought we were My like hooking up electrodes to like nerd to like to like nerds so that you know they get shocked every time. They don't. They don't get the kill in in Battlefield or something. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we just fucking that bitch. But like, but no, you had to bring bikini girls into it. You ruined it. But even like the internet was like, this is the stupidest show ever. Like, what do you think we are, Machinima? Not even that hot, bro. But they put all those things that you like together. It's basically yeah, just yeah, spiked yeah, it's like, the internet. <laughs> we are yeah, actually but I tried to make games. a Doritos Mountain Dew smoothie. It didn't really work out that well either. Oh, so this I just guess... reminds me of that one reality TV show where indie devs were supposed to be making a game and yet some oh, a yes. bunch of corporate uh, people just yeah. yeah. That was Game Jam. That was Polaris, yeah. actually. Yeah, the Polaris thing. Did Polaris, like, fix Polaris? that? Because I thought it was just one Mountain Dew guy that was trying to, like, make things more exciting. It than was... Quote -unquote. I think it's, it was yeah, a lot it was, of things. You know, the whole thing. They didn't really get to fix it, it, so to speak. It was kind of one guy um, who caused all that. Uh, I can't think of his name right now, but he worked for a company called Protagonist. And uh, have, like a very German name or something like that. I forget. But can you give me five, five, one minute? I'll be right back. I'll give you five. Right. Oh sure, just carry the stream for you. Okay. <laughs> well, he's uh, he's got a couple celebrities working he, the call. He wasn't so. letting people yeah, drink like me. water or coffee. Like oh, yeah. they had to drink Pepsi products. Yeah, they were sneaking. So water Beef has to outsource his commentary now. Yep. So I guess it's good to say hi now. Hi. Hello, new voice. I'm sorry, I've been in the call and I have no idea when to come in because everyone's talking. It's okay. <laughs> so I don't blame you. Kind of really creepily listening. Just tell everyone and everybody to shut up. And so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, just... you can just talk up. We're not yeah, saying anything important. Yeah, that's pretty much what I did. I just said, hey, did you know this happened? And then everyone was like, what the fuck are you? Who are you? <laughs> was that yeah, Polaris about Game you? Jam? I'm sorry. I was trying to carry a conversation. <laughs> oh, gosh. It was game the, Jam. Was the it's Polaris to... Game Jam the one the guy wrote the article about and then got fired and then got rehired? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So. Jared, whatever his last name. Yeah, all sorts of fun things happen when people decided Try they to... were going to... Yeah, yeah who would have thought monetize that happened? <clears throat> that was so sad because that could have been interesting. <clears throat> who would have thought monetizing video yeah, games was yeah. a bad idea? Some of the, some <laughs> of those developers are going to are, are trying to produce a similar thing without Is like uh, Zoe's doing that too? Yeah, I think Zoe's involved with that. Who was Zoe's the cool. other half of Game Grumps that was on Indie Jam? I can't remember. John Tron. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Someone ah, made good. a cool indie game jam movie recently. Yeah, John Tron and someone else was on there, and they, that was like the thing that broke the camel's back. Zoe Quinn. Was... And that, that actually, yeah, it was the two of them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to just, I was just going to say they made like John Tron try to fight with uh, Zoe. Yeah, that's what like I was that. bringing up. Apparently, yeah. Like, apparently, he did say something that kind of annoyed her, and they decided to go outside and talk about it, like kind of civilly and normal. Right, and the cameras yeah. like ran out to follow them. Oh, they're fighting. It's so yeah. scummy. It really was, yeah. And then, like, yeah, after it was MTV as fuck. Yeah, they were trying to make, like, storylines and stuff, and it's like, Egh. Yeah, that's exactly it. It was in the contract. They were allowed to embellish things for the point it's of their true. Uh, drama. That's exactly <laughs> it, right? They were trying to make, like, a reality TV show thing out of Pretty it. Pretty much. Yeah. To sell Pepsi. 
Mountain Dew. Oh, it was Mountain Dew, yeah. And and I that pisses me off Dude, too. Like, Dew. Mountain Dew you is love just Dew. what? I was gonna say, does it piss you off because you love Mountain Dew? Yes, that's why. <laughs> it's all I drink. I just have to wonder to drink how alone. Polaris thought it was gonna go down. Like, they must have known with them, with all the crazy product <laughs> Well, it seems stuff. like it was Amicably, one guy. With no problems so, whatsoever. It's a very weird thing with that one guy because there are people who are just like this and I never understand it, but, like, he had very little to do with it except all he was supposed to do was, like, make sure Pepsi got a lot of, like, Mountain Dew kind of, like, you know... Yeah, no, I was gonna say Mountain Dew. why I drink Coca-Cola. Yeah. It almost sounds like he was trying to, I don't know, play things up to make it more successful, and it just ended up. Yeah, I think he was. Yeah. I think he was just trying to like play it up so he could get a promotion or something, but it did I, not work. Probably like more like to get more industry context. Like, look what I made Game Jam into, because he didn't yeah. work for Polaris at all. He worked yeah. for this consulting company called Protagonist, which does like promotion kind of things. Like, he was the one who sort of linked Polaris with Pepsi and this whole thing. That's like uh, it. I see. Because like, if you read the articles on it, a lot of people are like, we didn't. Like, he didn't have a connection to anyone. He wasn't anyone's boss, but by virtue of the fact that he, like, sort of took charge, people, you know... Yeah, took him. charge. But I think that's, like, part of the... <clears throat> Make sure that cup is facing the camera. That's how he was, yeah. Yeah. But, like, I think that's... Because it was kind of disorganized. There was nobody in charge, really. He's like, oh, I'll be more like the producer here, and we'll see what... And then I can tell people, look at this thing I kind of did. You know what I mean? But he was the guy to ask those questions in the interview. Like, yeah. It's not like he wrote it and gave it to somebody else. Like, he wrote it and then executed it and, you know, put his own foot in his mouth. I don't know if he even wrote time. it. He just kind of was there and he was, like, trying to stir stuff up. Yeah. He thought it was a, a sensible idea to ask people that. Well, he's probably trying to play up... Sex and stuff, too, yeah. He's probably yeah, trying to play just... up, like, a... Like a gender war kind of thing you know how they tried to do like that battle of the sexes stuff like on survivor yeah, with all the men some distinct like they're trying it's to say pretty bad how does it feel to be a female developer in a male dominated mm -hmm. industry i'm like dude what the fuck this no, is no they were means. asking a guy um, it feels if... great let me tell you all about it <laughs> they were asking a male developer <laughs> if uh, they feel disadvantaged having a female in their group right oh that, yeah, yeah. That's not... what the fuck and, yeah. right and then yep. like yeah and that's the thing is they've worked together before, so it's like that's like it's just ridiculous. Why would you expect them to say yes? Yeah, right. Like it just seems like they're trying. Like it just bugs me that nobody cares about just video games anymore. They have to make it more than it is. And I'll tell you something else. Um, I feel disadvantaged having Ike in the call, but that has nothing to do with <laughs> male or female. She just that's just a thing. Yeah, so that's why you like have me here. Yeah. Come there. back! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's the official. Let's play secretary. I was and watching so Zoe Kravitz in the own zone thing. with slow beef. <laughs> and segue into third consecutive ball and chain joke, and you're good. <laughs> That's all you need. Well, beef and Beatus are abusive. I've been fired three times by Beatus, and I, <laughs> I'm not even hired by Beatus. How did you get fired by him? He just keeps fired. telling me I'm fired. I'm like, what did I do? I don't, I don't even work for you. It's well, community I don't service, even have like, a job. Not the more you don't. Jesus. Well, neither does he. What does he have the right to fire people? I don't know. He thinks he's an internet superstar. But it's he's... like, you don't even have a job, you loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? No, you tell him. I oh agree with that. A lot of people don't I wouldn't have even jobs do that nowadays. Mean. That's great. <laughs> it's not mean. It's true. No. <laughs> He's never gonna see this video. He doesn't watch your trash. I know. He doesn't, no, he doesn't watch anything <laughs> that's not him. He doesn't even watch Red to Prey videos if, like, he doesn't edit them. <laughs> On the note of, uh, videos, I gotta say, I only watched one episode of, uh, Slow Beef's Dark Souls LP. Uh huh. And it was the last one. That's the only one that's been needed. <laughs> it was choice. worth it. Yeah. That ending was great, dude. I have, like, three friends that are huge, like, Dark Souls lore buffs, and then I see this, ep this episode, and I'm like, oh, finally. <laughs> Somebody who just says, fuck it. Maybe I'll, I like maybe I'll just watch those videos talk. instead of finishing the game myself. Wait, what'd you say? I said, maybe I'll just watch your videos instead of finishing the game myself. Honestly, my, my video doesn't ruin, the, my last video, 70, does not ruin the ending or anything of Dark Souls. Oh, okay. No, he just trolls the shit out of uh, lower people, and um, also, slowly, if you were wrong, uh, drakes and dragons are different. No, they're not. Oh, that's, here we go. That's the joke, though. 
Like, of course, I know, I know Dark Souls says the words dragons and drakes are different things, but that doesn't mean I have to buy into that shit. But you do? Because I don't remember them saying they were different things. Yeah, apparently dragons are like these grandiose mythical beings that are mostly dead, and drakes are the things you see in the game, but who gives a fuck? They're, they're like, no, these are other fire breathing lizard things that look exactly like dragons, is like okay, the idea. Well, now, where, where do worms? Where do worms fall into this? Is that. Uh, they're in the ground. No, W W Y R M. What is that like a wyvern? A wyvern? Oh, worms are like what are like you brought this dragons. I know this because I played a lot of card games back in the day. Okay. <laughs> what a little loser. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> now excuse me while I go play Betrayal Let me just House remove the you bill. from this call. <laughs> You're being too I nerdy. Do Good luck, I you, you don't have that power. I don't have it. Yeah, first you have to figure that out. Yikes. Oh. I just want to get out of here and play some Monopoly. I, I'm feeling some Monopoly right now. Screw Monopoly. The one die run. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy run. The one die run. Are, are we <laughs> playing with no parking rules or no? Like, yeah, if you land up no I parking, you get all no the money. Electric Avenue. <laughs> no utility yeah. run. The NUR. Yeah. They say it can't be done. <laughs> Every space is a chance <laughs> no card. No train stations, no fast it's travel. That's for scrubs. Game. <laughs> it's oh. Monopoly's really like a 2D Dark Souls. That's what <laughs> I'm really sick of it. Like, do, can I say I'm really getting sick We're of that the comparison in the industry? Me. Why does everybody have to compare themselves to Dark Souls? Because there's Dark Souls a, isn't even that hard. It's, That's it's what drives thing. me nuts. Uh, I mean, exactly. Dark Souls not, is not that hard of a video game. Seriously. I don't know if it's hard. I do, I'm just not good at it. <laughs> yeah, well, if you're just patient, like you just take your time, you'll be okay. If you're yeah, a pro there, like there, me, are, there are parts where I'm long. like, all right, I I have no problem exhibiting the amount of patience and pattern recognition in order to beat this well, thing. And sometimes I'm just like, fuck this, dumb. I don't want to play this. Fuck my life. I don't want to. I'm uninstalled. Well, where are you stuck at, Voice Dog? Maybe I could. Uh, ask. the uh, the uh, Norlando. <laughs> Um, are you stuck with the archers? I hate to say it. No, I got that. You okay. just need to I, I, get I bad. Because, like, nah. really, Anne Orlando Seriously. is... Anne Orlando is the test level. It is. If you beat Anne Orlando, that's, like, your final exam in Dark Souls. Yeah. I see. Like, everything is easier from there on, more or less. But to be fair, some of the stuff in Anne Orlando is kind of bullshit. Like, I think I got stuck for about 30 minutes looking for that uh, weird way to the broken window in the church. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah, I yeah. found by accident. Yeah, I found that. It took me a bit, but I saw a bunch of messages. They just spoiled me. It's like, hey, go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking no. of Dark Souls Two, how's that for the most bullshit puzzle? Uh, no, no, no! Yay! He hasn't played. Oh, oh re re wow, really? I thought yeah. He... What were you he doing? Played in... a little bit. What were He's you doing? I mean, this is called streams. I don't understand. No, I I didn't care at that point, More but now I kind of want to get back into it. All right, then I'll I'll stop. Thank Bye. you. It's a fun Sorry. game, but I don't think it's as good as the first one. I like Dark Souls sure. 2 mechanically. It does a lot of good things in terms You're of gameplay. Gonna explode, you cry. And, uh... Actually, don't talk about Dark Souls 2. Yeah, right, let's not talk about Dark Souls 2. I've heard this Souls. conversation before, like once or twice or 70 How times. How about a different game that I'm thinking maybe Slow Beef should try out? 1001 Spikes. Oh yeah, that looked good. It was fun. I saw, I'm, um, actually, I'm actually in the process of making a review for it, but yeah, that game is really, like, solid. Who cares about your opinion, though? <laughs> no um, one. A lot. Well, no one. Uh, uh name one person. Is that High Wang? Is that the only don't person me. you'd feel comfortable with this thing? I think. Well, I know you don't watch my stuff, Voice of Dog, oh, okay, so. That's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, okay. Um, shit, what do I want to uh, do? Now? Donut Man. All right, what are you doing? I can do Antulia, get the Vulcan, power that up. By the way, him. everybody go watch Legend of Mana, because that's fun. Okay, uh, yeah. I'll go do that right now. All right, should I go for the really hard level early? And tr no, I know, no, no, I never mind. Oh, I get I Vulcan need. first. Doesn't that trivialize a uh... fuck? What's that level called? Path of Sila. Yeah, that doesn't Vulcan like trivialize Sila. Yeah, I think I want stealth for Sila anyway, though. Is yeah. Sila the one with the lyrics? Yeah. Yes, backwards Spanish, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It's pronounced Sila? Um, it might be Skilla or Scylla, or I don't oh, I know. I think it's, yeah. Sila sounds cooler, though. Let's just that's, go with cool. That's I true. can't pronounce anything anyways. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I'm hardcore creeping on this chat. I've been quiet for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been breathing heavily? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> who, who is, who is that? Nice. 
Yeah, that's my question because she never actually like introduced herself while you're gone. So no, uh, I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Just introduce yourself. That's What's up? Time. Who are you? Do it. Uh, I'm Arden. Well, I guess. On the oh yeah. 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 Uh, I think I've seen you in like other streams. What's up? I probably not, but <laughs> <laughs> she was. Um, I think or, not. <laughs> Arden. Maybe, um, yeah, I just got very Hi, Arden was a, a co uh, co commentator, streamer, panelist um, for Indie Three, the Let's Play and Independent Games. Um, oh yeah, oh, I saw a couple. Okay. I saw yeah, a couple that, streams I wasn't of that. Sure about that. That that was that was that was totally me. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I think it might be. A... Did I get that right, or are you someone else entirely? No, I'm someone else entirely. Oh. She's Arden, but not. At all. No, I don't do I'll Let's Play. I, I don't do anything really. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you are a different Arden. Yeah, I am. Sorry, something. but yeah, I can take credit for something I didn't do. I'm fine with that. Do oh it. god, this is so it's embarrassing. Weird. That person is probably a completely different name, and I fucked it up. No, you got oh, the right name. It's just uh, no, oh, uh, it's a very common name. Arden, yeah. right? Arden. Yeah. I don't. Know. I didn't even have to get that pink elephant, and I did. But whatever. <laughs> um, oh, he's gotta say pink elephant. It sounds really weird out of context. Damn it! I'm watching the wrong stream. Again. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like really distant. Right, I'm, I'm, uh, that one, I'm not so even watching the stream. Me? Don't don't I even. The, I watched the Twitch stream just because it's got better frame rate on that show. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. You know, I don't think you really need to see like immediate Hydra, but I'm on a I'm on in a very annoying boss right now. I'm the bane of the gaming industry. I actually care about frames like per steel. second. <laughs> it's pretty stable for me. Got it. Nice. Good job. Nice. This is, I think, the furthest I've actually ever gotten on One Life in a while. Good uh, job. Nice I saw that. It's good to Still deal. waiting on that uh, Ikaruga stream One, two, since you've been on three, the treasure four, bender lately. Five, six, seven. Seven, I got seven levels left. Shit. When Ooh, are you wow. going to get that um, speedrun bonus on Matilda? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I got to do that too. Shit. <laughs> I always call it Matilda. <laughs> All right. Redding, Redding is easy, but Path of Scylla. Oh, shit. Don't you have a. Um, what do you oh. need to clear for Vulcan? Uh, Red Eden, I think. Um, yeah, are you on Red Eden? I'm on Red Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah. Mm, maybe go for the Vulcan, because laser can only take you so far in Path of Scylla. This is true. Is that true? Yeah, that's true. Because laser goes straight, and Path of Scylla has all those angles and shit. Good call, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You don't yeah, want to go down that path. Uh, right. I think I played this game when it first track. came out, and I only got about halfway through, and then I stopped playing for whatever reason. By the way, my my secret weapon is if you hel hold L and R together like that, all your squirts go behind you and it becomes like a little shield. Yeah, I was looking at that. How the hell did you do that? You press left and right at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Ga Game Maker doesn't really know what to do, so it it no um. Game Maker oh, is a Game Maker thing. game. Yep, this is a Game Maker game. Oh, that's all this game. I'm sorry. What'd you say? Aren't all of his games like Game Maker games? Uh, yeah. As far to my knowledge, they are. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess they are. Yeah. I was about to say, I don't know about 8-Bit Killer, but... Oh, yeah, maybe I should have... Wait, maybe you I made that game? Yeah, that's that. That's the first-person shooter game, right? That's yeah, like, I, yeah. I, I played that, like, two years ago or something like that. Yeah, I still have never played it, but that's another That's another game by this guy. Loco Molito. I gave him 10 euro the other day. Nice. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. You really you did it, man. Are like, bribe him to responding to your email? <laughs> <laughs> please he, join me for please. a little break. No, no, the Hydra no. cheat codes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll uh, respond if you finish. I think I think Slow Beach just wants to get the Red more. to Pray video game going. You have to say your next game. <laughs> <laughs> Does he speak English? Um, like a little bit. A little bit. Apparently, yeah. he did the voices for like the characters in this game. I think. No, he didn't. Apparently, I thought that oh. too, but uh, that was actually uh, other people. Ah. Hmm. I saw you tweet. You did a translator. Yeah, I t yeah. I, so I tweeted to him once, and I was like, um, "Hey, would you ever want to be in a video?" Or and he's like, "Oh, you don't want to hear my English, you know." Aww. So Aww. that's why I, I was like, "Can I get a translator?" Because I was actually thinking of trying to do a thing with him and um, maybe either get somebody to dub him, like a, like they do in documentary type of things, or just <laughs> subtitle him. That, that would be pretty cool. That would be cool. Yeah, actually, just to have on 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 a Retsu talk, not right. the kind of avenue. Though I think the trouble would be like maintaining a conversation in that instance. Well, I, I was I'll just say I'm planning on doing something completely different with him that I never have done with video stuff before, so take that. You should um 
Mm, you should yeah. tell him that you speak his language and then just go to Google Translate. And <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I understand. My wife, my wife's mother-in-law says that like she's a Spanish teacher, which I completely forgot about. And then she's like, she has like a bunch of students who try that on her, like yeah, and they'll just they go to all the exams. Oh yeah, she's like, really yeah, she's like, this doesn't work at all. <laughs> it didn't work ten years ago. It's not gonna work now. Right. When I was taking a German class, people kept telling me you should just use Google Translate. I was like, why? I'm not learning anything <laughs> that way, and it's trash. Right. Yeah. Whoa. But I had everybody poppers. tell me that. I think the proper the response is, what are you, retarded? Oh. The proper response is, nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. The problem with Google Translate, right, is uh, that, like, the nouns or whatever is just, like, switched. Yeah, it's so just... It's so you would read it in English instead of the way you would actually read it? It's just, like, it's a word-for-word, -word, like, just swap out kind of thing, and There's it just... There's no context and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't, like, quite... For, like, single words, it's okay, but if you're trying to do, like, a whole paragraph or whatever, it's no good. <sighs> I'm I fucked. helped uh, teach I a Spanish class because I'm double minoring in Spanish, and the kids had to write, um, like, a TV script, and you could tell which kids went to Google Translate. <laughs> it was ridiculous. <laughs> it was, like, 90% of the class. Partly like, because it said Google, Google Translate right at the top. Just give them a bunch of notes of see me after class and right. just say Google Translate as you give them all that. Here we go, Path of Sila. All right. Right. Got this. Oh, this level, okay. This is the uh, hardest level in the game, basically, so... Oh, Do you not have a power-up segment to where you could grab a, uh, grab a shield? No, I already used them um, both. You have to use them to get through the stage. Like, oh, yeah, that's them. right. I all thought right. there was one more, but I guess I'm... I think it's near the last stage, the last one. The good thing about the Vulcan, at least, is that it's powerful, like, at level one. Yeah. And powered up squirt helps a lot, too, actually, and I don't think it Yeah. Like I'm digging this water on the ceiling and floor kind of deal. Oh, you don't know that. You, you may not be digging. <laughs> like, yeah, it's going to get really hard really fast. It kind of moves, right? I think it's oh, it kind of moves, yeah. It, it does a thing. <laughs> yeah, uh... The as long as we're talking in extremely vague terms, things happen and spoilers. Die. We're we're all good about not spoiling. <laughs> nah. All right, so this stage is in three sections, and I'm currently at the first one, which is the easiest, relatively speaking. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I got two stealths left. I got to be smart enough to use them though when I need them, which is sort of the problem, right? Were those blue blobs like jellyfish or like yeah. supposed to? You know? Yeah, they're like a little squishy. The yeah, jellyfish are not ill. They're cool. I'm absolutely terrified of jellyfish. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not terrified by them, but I'm not a fan. I'd rather be in the in the water with a shark than a jellyfish. When you're up, right, well. jellyfish are pretty freaky. Have you ever yeah. sat on a stingray before? No, that's. that's Who the hell has done that? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, the little mermaid? Every oh my god, why are you guys outraged at this? <laughs> Have you ever sat on a stingray? No, Ariel, I haven't. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. You I'm never sorry. sang with a crab who was off key? You guys. Alright, don't, don't, don't fuck with me now, it's getting hard. Yeah, I think it's serious time. It's a really weird sensation when it happens. It's like a really weird feeling. Okay. I'm sure it is! That's so sorry! Way to put it. I'm sure manatees <laughs> give weird sloppy kisses too. Oh, uh, you're gonna get him killed. I think this yeah, is hot, really right? mad. Oh god. Alright. Yeah, this is getting kind of dire. Tensions are high. Alright, alright, alright. The radius can do this. <sighs> okay. Alright, I'm through well, the. This was inspired Stingers. from Gradius, so naturally. Yeah. yeah. This stage looks more like Darius, if anything. Yikes. Mm. Shit. Uh, yeah, because if it's. I'm kind of curious if Slow Beef is receptive to the other games because I kind of want to see him play Jamestown. <laughs> He's right here. You can ask. Yeah. What? 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 what, what, what <laughs> Jamestown? Oh, really? I'll get you a middle man. I know. <laughs> oh, is that the end of the stage? I hope, please. Or is there another section of it? Fuck you. There is. Yeah. Jamestown. Yeah. There's the uh, boss fight, isn't there? Isn't it getting like a sequel? Like Quote a unquote boss fight. They're doing yeah. Jamestown Plus on PS4, but I'm not sure oh. if they're doing it for the PC. What is Jamestown? Well, it's a shmup it, that's basically based on. Um, Colonists on Mars. Okay. It's a really cool game. It's one of the few shmups I really enjoy. Accessible too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got like a lot of variety. Like they got the typical ships, <laughs> and they got like cool things such as uh, 
gunpowder. What's one of the basic ones that I love? All right, here we go, boss time. Oh yeah, charge shot is one of the ones I love. Oh, can you beat the boss? I don't know. You should play that game. Crimson Clover came out recently on Steam too. That's really fun, but it's also really hard. It's iron. Another good shmup, Signmora. I've heard good things about Signmora. It's an interesting mechanic in that you don't die from a hit, but you lose time, so it's a really interesting trade-off. Okay, here we go. Oh, there's a vertical level? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the reverse Spanish segment, so if oh, you haven't heard it now, I'm the stream. Kind of can't kill them, And right? tread here over us. No, you cannot kill them. What the hell was that? <laughs> this reminds me of that one part in Metal Slug. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, I know that segment. Oh, fuck forever. that segment. Isn't there an actual part where they're like, Wrestling over a thing yeah. in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think just, just it should be coming up now. It depends on if you're watching the stream or that. The stream. Oh, did you already pass it? Because I didn't uh, yeah. see that on the Skype. Hmm. I just yeah. watched the Oh, there it is on stream. Whoops. Ah, you fucker! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> what hit him? You'll see. It... Did you sit on a stingray? Yeah, I did sit on a stingray. <laughs> <laughs>